the record button. They had trouble with ours last week recording. I, I don't I don't know why it didn't record. Now it's recording. Okay. So if you were going to look back at last week's, we don't have one last week. Um, for some reason, it didn't record. Um, it's supposed to be automatically recording, but some of them are not. And I just, just now remembered to double check. So we're now recording. Um, okay. On the first night, on August the 20th, it did record. So you can go back and watch that one. Um, there will be a link if you go to WhatsApp. There's a link in WhatsApp that you can go to and take you to um, um, the videos. They're on YouTube. Um, or you can go to YouTube and pull up, I think it's Robertson County ELL or RCVA ELL. And it'll pull it up and you so you can watch yourself on TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Any definition, do you need a definition on any of those? <laughs> I think what is soy, but I didn't say so. <laughs> They're not in the same lines in the other one. <laughs> Oily? No. It's in the other. It's the, it's the yeah, next one. All... Uh -huh. Loot? Loot? Or which one? No, it's soy, but soy is soja. It's employee, employee, and annoy, and it's soy. Oh, the other line. Okay. Yeah, yeah. On the OI okay. line, nobody needs a definition. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. All right. OY. We're going to get to that one. OY. OY. Employee. 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 Annoy. 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 Soy. Soy. Okay. One more time. Employee. 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 Annoy. Annoy. Soy. Soy. Good. Need a definition on any of those? Annoy. She say annoy. Annoy. <laughs> um, aggravate. Um, um, I'm trying to think of a sentence. The girl was annoying me with her screechy voice. Your neighbors annoy you when they have a loud music. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. The neighbors What's annoy the you with the loud noise. <laughs> yes. Pedro, you annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Any others? <laughs> All right. No. We're going to go on. Soy. Huh? Soy. Soy. It's soy. A soy. Soy sauce soja. that you put like on your beans. rice. Uh huh. The soy. Soy. Oh, soy. Soy is like, I think of soy sauce. He put soy, soy sauce, sauce on his rice. It's, uh -huh. yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Loot. Oh. Loot. 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 Coon. 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 Roomy. Roomy. Roomful. Roomful. Zoom. Zoom. Zoom's not on there, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we can add Zoom because that's our yeah. own our own private one we can put in there. All right, so loot. Uh -huh. Loot. 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 Poon. Poon. Doom. Doom. Roomy. Roomy. Roomful. Roomful. Okay, any definitions? Loot. 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 The loot, the first one. Uh-huh. Um, he robbed the bank and got a big loot, like a whole bunch, like a treasure stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, sometimes they'll say when the kids went trick or treating, they came back with a loot of candy. It's like a whole lot of candy or uh, okay. a whole lot of something. 
What Miss Philip, it's like when I when I like it's like the the in the TV when the people get a prostate and they loot like the stores, right? Like a crowd. No, like they 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 loot the the stores when they take everything, grab food, grab shoes. Yes, right? looting. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you're right. Uh, when they when they're doing their riots and the mm -hmm. protests and stuff, looting means they're taking all the stuff out okay. of stores. That's looting. Yes, <clears throat> that's not a good thing for that. So no. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do O U. O -U. About. 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 Allowed. 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 Doubtful. Doubtful. Loud mouth. Loud mouth. That mouth. one has a double O U in it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Bout. Loud mouth. Mm -hmm. Bout. 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 Allowed. 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 Doubtful. Doubtful. Loud mouth. Loud mouth. Okay. Any of those you need a definition? No. Okay. Let's do you are. Bout is like a fight. Yeah. Fight. Yes. Bout is like a fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, lawsuit. Low. Lawsuit. Unsuited. Unsuited. Fruitful. Fruitful. Fruity. 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 Okay. Once again, lawsuit. Lawsuit. <coughs> Unsuited. Unsuited. Fruitful. 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 Fruity. 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 Okay. Any of those? You need a definition. Unsuited. <clears throat> Unsuited. Mm -hmm. um, it's like he was unsuited for that job. He was not qualified. Uh, he was, uh, that was not his, oh man. It's like they don't have a beauty yeah, out, Sonia. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, hmm. <laughs> um, I was trying to find the definition on them. Uh, I think, I Pedro, I think it's like, um, you, you want to work for a company, but um, what's it? maybe outside it is very hot, but for you it's unsuited because you don't like to stay out. You prefer work inside. <laughs> Right, it's in, right. Inadequado, inadequado. <laughs> it's not. It's not good for you. It's not appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Not right for you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Some of these it, we're gonna. It is it, it, like when Maria takes a pajama when she going to the to the beach. To the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh me. Okay, some of these we're gonna oh, yeah. use. We're gonna do uh, definitions of under word meanings on page sixty-seven. Um. So, number one, read the definition, and we'll together we'll do it together. If you've not done it already, mm -hmm. oh, let's look at the words. Most of them we've talked. We've mm -hmm. we've pronounced over here. The words over to the left hand side are annoy, annoy, cease, cease, doubtful, 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 frail, 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 free for all, free for, free for all. all, Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. lease, lease, loot, loot. loot. Main, main, ointment, 
Oyment. Soy. Soy. Treason. 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 Unsuited. Unsuited. And whale. And whale. whale. Okay. Now we'll get some uh, definitions to them. Okay, number one, uh, Norma, read the definition number one and let's see what the word is. Okay, I know it. This is a bean widely grown to improve, improve the soil and feed livestock also uses to make a sauce. Oh, let me check. Soy. Soy. And it, yes. it, when it's growing in the field, they call it soybeans. Soy uh -huh. beans. If we grow mm -hmm. in Robertson beans. County, we grow a lot of soybeans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we grow a lot. So it is soy. That is correct. Number two, Pedro, you want to read the definition for number two? I'm trying. A contract that I'll land for or land. Yeah. Landlady gives you when you rent an apartment. Lease is correct. Mm -hmm. You have to sign a lease when you get an apartment. Uh, Yes. Uh, maybe for six months or a year or ever how long <clears throat> but it's a binding contract that you stay in that mm -hmm. apartment pay yes. rent for um, mm -hmm. that amount of time okay, okay number three maria you want to read the definition a fight in which many people take part also a contest or race that anyone may enter mm -hmm. The answer is Trison? No. This is almost like an idiom. Okay. Is it double double? <laughs> Put free for cool. all. Free, free for, for all. all. Free for all. Free oh. for all. Free for all is is like a fight when a, a lot of people take uh, like sometimes in oh, the okay. movies they'll have a fight in the in the saloon or the bar room uh, and everybody's fighting everybody. Uh -huh. That's called a free for all. Sorry. And. Well, okay, number four, Sonia. New England state, Maine. Ah, Maine. You got the easy one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky. <laughs> the only state that's listed on there, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maine. Maine. Uh, okay, <laughs> number five, Norma. There's no fit for a certain job or task. Let me check. It's for Pedro. Yeah, it's for Pedro. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and sweet. And sweet. And sweet. And sweet. Yeah. And sweet. Yes. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. You're unsuited okay. for that job. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, number six, Pedro. Sonia. <laughs> number six. Sonia. Oh, <laughs> Sonia. Okay. <laughs> A stolen goods, also a slang term for money. Loot. Loot. Easy one. Yeah, yeah that was an easy one. <laughs> yeah. Now, the next one's pretty easy, too. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Where am I at? Back up to Norma. Number seven, me? Yeah, okay. number seven. The Eve, the Old Saints Day, falling on October 31, and celebrated by children who mm -hmm. go from door to door, beginning streets or playing packs. Hello. Hello, Wayne. Wayne. That was an easy Hello. one, too, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> easy. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Maria, you want to do number eight? Yeah, I don't, I don't have the answer, but I'll let That's well, okay. We're going to do them together. It doesn't matter. The crime committed by a traitor. 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 It's traitor. usually a traitor, uh, a crime, uh, com crime committed against a country is usually what it is. They talk about he was a traitor to the to the Russians from the United States. Mm -hmm. mm, treason? No. Treason. Yeah, treason is the crime. Treason. And if you commit treason, you're called a traitor. Oh, okay. um, oh yeah. Like if if you um, if you got with another country and maybe mm -hmm. sold some information to that country mm -hmm. for money about the United States, say you sold it to China, uh, mm -hmm. then you, you have committed treason. You're going to be a called a traitor mm -hmm. and you can be put okay. in jail for that. Um, okay. Number nine, uh, Pedro. Uh, something, something put on the skin to heal a burn, bruise, etc. Ointment. Ointment. Yes, that is correct. Very good. Okay, number ten, Norma. To brother someone. Let me gosh. <laughs> it's a noise. Annoy, yes. My little brother is going to annoy me all day long. <laughs> <laughs> My neighbors okay. and brothers annoy me. They make a lot of noise. <laughs> no. Okay, number 11, Sonia. To make a sad crying sound. Um, whale. Whale, yes. Whale. Very good. Number 12, Maria. To put in, to put in, in to, to stop. Cease. Cease, yes. Okay, number 13, Norma. Ensure or uncertain, uncertain. Let me check. I don't know what is it is. So it's pray. Pray on. No. 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 Yes. No. Not, Not quite sure. What? Doubtful. Yes. Doubtful. 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 Doubtful means unsure, uncertain. I'm doubtful that I will like that licorice candy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Twelve is free. Mm -hmm. Number fourteen. Uh Pedro. Weak, not strong, frail. Frail. That is correct. Oh Those are pretty easy. What I put away? Yes. Ah. Okay. Frail. I mistake one. Okay. Everybody got them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Flip over to page 68. We're ready for our story. <coughs> Some words that you'll see in our story are going to be Parsons, Parsons, Batter, oh, Clack, 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 Ant, Ant, <laughs> Wooden, Wooden, Mister, 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 Insane. Insane. Westbury. 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 West Explosion. Explosion. Disasters. Disasters. Insured. Insured. Bats. 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 Okay. All right. This is a story about a man who had no eyes. Okay. Blind. You know, some of these stories have been had kind of different endings. So I think you'll find this one has a different ending too. All right, let's read. Uh, let's see. 
Let's see. Maria, if you will read the first two paragraphs. Okay. A man who had no eyes. A beggar was coming down to the avenue just as Mr. Parson was coming out of the hotel. He was a blind beggar carrying a butter cane and his way before him with caution. He was a shaggy man. His coat was greasy and he had a black pouch slung over his shoulder. It seemed that he had something to sell. The air was rich with spring. The sun was warm and yellow on the sidewalk. Mr. Parson standing there in front of his hotel and nothing the clock clock the clack clack sound and the blind man's cane felt a quick and foolish sort of pity of all the blind. Okay. Sonia, the next two paragraphs. Okay. And though Mr. Person, he was very glad to be alive. A few years ago, he had been little more than skilled worker. Now he was a successful and respect insurance salesman, and he had done it alone, with help and struggling beneath handi handicaps, and he was still young. He took uh, a step forward just as the tap tapping blind men passed by. Quickly, the shabby man turned, listen man, just a minute of your time. Okay, Mr. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Person said, it's late. I have an appointment. Do you want me to give you something? I ain't no beggar man. You bet I ain't. I got a handy little thing here. He grouped about until he could press a, a small object into Mr. Person's hand. That I sell. One bag. Best cigarettes lighter made. Okay. All right, Pedro, the next two paragraphs. Mr. Parsons stood there. Sound was annoyed. He was handsome man with his gray suit and gray hat and wood cane. Of course, the man with the cigarette lighters could not see him. But I don't smoke, he said. Listen, I bet you know a lot of people who smoke. Nice little present. And Mr. You wouldn't mind helping a poor guy out? He clung to Mr. Parsons' sleep. Okay. Uh, Norma, the next two. Okay. Mr. Parsons signed it and filling his best pocket. He brought out two half dollars and pressed them into the man's hand. Certainly, I will help you out, he said. Then he paused, not wishing to be noisy, even with a blind figure. How you lose your sign completely? The shabby man pockets the two half dollars, 14 years man. Then he added with an insane sort of pie, Westbury, sir, I was one of the, them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Maria, the next two. Westbury repeated, Mr. Parson. Oh, yes, the chemical explosion. The papers haven't mentioned it for years, but. At the time, it was one of the greatest disaster, disasters in. They all, for, all forgot about it. The beggar cried, but I tell you, but I tell you, man, a man who was, it, who was in, it don't forget about it. Last thing I ever saw was a sea shop going up in one grand smoke 
smoke and that awful, awful gas pouring in out of the busted windows. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. That's one. Yeah, two paragraph, right? Don't um, change places on me. Oh my gosh. I lose the window. Is stopping window. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sonia, you want to read the next two? Yes. Mr. Parson coughed, but the blind beggar was caught up in remembering the disaster. Also, he was thinking that there might be more half dollars in Mr. Person, Parson's pockets. Just think about it, man. There was 108 people killed, about 200 injured, and over 50 of them lost their eyes. Blind as bats, he groped forward until his dirty hand rest against Mr. Person's coat. I tell you, sir, there was nothing worse that, that, than that in the world. If I had lost my ass in the world, okay, I would have been well took care of. But I was soon a workman, and I got it. You are then right, and I got it while the big wings were making they though they was insured don't worry about that they okay next to uh pedro insuring repeat mr person yes that's what i sell You want to know who I lost my eye? Cried the beggar. Well, what is? Well, he is. I was in, in C shop, last of all the folks rushing out. Out in the air, there was a change, even with the building exploding right and left. A lot of guys made it safe out the door and got away. Just when I was about to the door, crawling along between those big bats, a, by, a guy behind me grabbed my legs. He holds me back and clings right over me, shoved, shoved me into the dirt, he gets out and out lie there with all the poison gas pouring down and all side of me. That is story, man. Okay. All right. I'm going to read the rest of it. Not quite, said Mr. Parsons. The blind beggar shivered. Not quite. What do you mean? The story is true, Mr. Parsons said, except that is the way the... Uh, Excuse me. The story is true, Mr. Parsons said, except that it was the other way around. Other way around, the beggar growled in an unfriendly voice. Say, man, I was in C shop, said Mr. Parsons. It was the other way around. You were the man who hauled back on me and climbed over me. You were bigger than I was, Marks. Blind man stood for a long time, swallowing quickly. He gulped, Parsons, my God, my God, I thought you, and then he screamed, yes, maybe so, maybe so, but I'm blind, I'm blind, and you've been standing here letting me spout off to you and laughing at me every minute. I'm blind. People in the streets turned to stare at him. You got away but I'm blind. Do you hear? I'm well, Mr. Parsons said. Don't make such a big deal about it, Marks. So am I. So what was the ending to the story? Mm -hmm. 
Marks was the name of the beggar, and he kept telling him, I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind. Okay. Okay. And telling Mr. Parsons that he was standing there laughing at him. But what did Mr. Parsons say? The last well, said Mr. Parsons, don't make such a big deal about it. Marks, so am I. So am I what? What did he mean? They go shaking his head. <laughs> okay, let's let's look at the last two paragraphs. You got away. Okay, this is Mark saying this. This is the beggar saying this. You got away, but I'm blind. Do you hear? I'm blind. Mm -hmm. Next paragraph. Well, said Mr. Parsons, don't make such a big deal about it, Marks. So am I. Uh -huh. a little sad story. <laughs> it was a little sad because what Mr. Parsons was saying, Mr. Yeah. Parsons, who was the insurance salesman, uh -huh. that that the beggar was trying to get to buy the cigarette uh -huh. lighter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mr. Parsons was blind also. He was the person, the story that the blind beggar was telling, go back to the last paragraph on page 68. It says, you want to know how I lost my eyes, cried the beggar. Mm -hmm. Well, here it is. I was in C shop, last of all the folks rushing out. Out in the air, there was a chance. Even the buildings exploding right and left. Mm -hmm. A lot of God, a lot of guys made it out safe the door and got away. Just when I was about to the door, crawling along between those big vats, which those are big holding tanks, <clears throat> a guy behind me grabs my legs. He mm -hmm. hauls, which means pulls. He pulled mm -hmm. him out. Mm -hmm. He hauls me back and climbs right over me, shoves me into the dirt. He gets out and I lay there with all that poison gas pouring down on all sides of me. That's the story, man. That was what the beggar said happened to him, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then Mr. Parsons, who was the insurance salesman, says, not quite. Mm -hmm. And the beggar said, not quite. What do you mean? Uh -huh. The story is true, Mr. Parsons said, except that yeah. it was the other way around, which uh -huh. means it was opposite. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I was in C shop, said Mr. Parsons. This is the insurance salesman, Mr. Parsons talking. It was the other way around. You were the man who hauled back on me and climbed uh -huh. over me. Uh -huh. You were bigger than I was, Marks. The story uh -huh. was true, but Mr. Parsons was the one that was pulled and thrown in the dirt and the gas went over. Uh -huh. And the blind man uh -huh. stood for a long time. He'd been caught, hadn't he? Uh, and he said, um, I thought then he screamed, yes, maybe so, maybe so, uh -huh. but I'm blind, uh -huh. I'm blind, and you've been standing here letting me spout off to you and laughing at me every minute. So he yeah. thought, the beggar thought, that Mr. Parson uh -huh. had been making fun of him uh, and laughing uh, because he was blind. And then he starts yelling. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And the people in the street kind of started staring. Yeah. It says, you got away, but I'm blind. Do you hear? I'm blind. And he just mm -hmm. kept screaming, I'm blind, I'm blind. But yeah. Mr. Parson says, well, don't make such a big deal about it, Mark. So am I. Meaning, I am blind also. Mm-hmm. 
but Mr. Mr. Parsons had uh, went through his handicap uh, of being blind and became an insurance salesman, but the beggar mm -hmm. had not. He just mm -hmm. kind of felt sorry for himself, I guess. And I think I've answered all the questions that are in there. <laughs> you know, I do that sometimes. <laughs> all right, look at number two about the story. Choose the best, the answer that best completes the sentence and write it on the storyline. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the first one, number one, the story takes place, A, in a chemical plant, B, in a hotel, C in Westbury or D on a sidewalk. Okay. In a hotel? No. Oh. He said I was coming down the avenue just there. In, inside of what? On the sidewalk, yes. Sidewalk? Remember the um Da, 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 da. The air was rich with spring. The sun was warm and yellowed on the sidewalk. Mr. Parsons huh? standing there in front of the hotel. Now, he was in front of the hotel, but he wasn't in the hotel. He was standing on the sidewalk yes, in front of the sidewalk. hotel. Walking. Okay, so that's D. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number two, the story takes place in autumn, spring, summer, winter. I think it was a uh, winter. Spring. 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 Second mm -hmm. paragraph. Mm -hmm. Air was rich with spring. The sun mm -hmm. was warm and yellowed on the sidewalk. Uh huh. <laughs> I, <laughs> yes. remember. I remember. <laughs> okay, so I remember. Okay. So be spring. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. number three. Mr. Parsons sells insurance. <laughs> cigarette lighters, insurance, cigarette lighter. insurance, 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 insurance. Mr. Parsons was the insurance salesman. Mm -hmm. um, third paragraph. Uh, now he was a successful and respected insurance salesman. Okay, number four. One of Mark's first reasons for telling Mr. Parsons the details of the chemical explosion is he needs to talk in order to overcome his depression. He thinks Mr. Parsons might give him some more money. He wants to inform Mr. Parsons of the working conditions in Westbury. This is the way he used to, is used to spending his time. Mm. Why did he give Mr. Parsons the details of the chemical explosion? He, he, want to, he wants to take information, Mr. Parsons. He wanted what? Uh, he wants to inform, inform Mr. Parsons of the working condition in Westbury. Well, but he did inform him of that, but that had happened how many years ago? 14, 14 years. Yeah, it had happened 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I think, let's see, look at. I think this would be, he thinks Mr. Paso might give him man, more money. Right, that he might give him some more money. I thought I had that marked. Um, yeah, in the second line, I mean, the second one, two, three, four, the second side, uh, fourth paragraph is Mr. Parsons coughed in that paragraph. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And it goes down to say, also, he was thinking that there might be more half dollars in Mr. Parsons' pocket. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Blind beggar was caught up remembering the disaster, mm -hmm. thinking there might be more half dollars in Parsons' pockets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All of those were good answers, though. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple of these that could be more than one answer. All right, let's see. Next one says, when Mr. Parson exposes Mark's lie, Mark's first excuse is, A, he didn't know his story was phony until Mr. Parsons set him straight on the facts. B, he has ended up blind, but at least Mr. Parsons can see. C, he was trying to make the story more interesting. Or D, life has been so hard that he has had no other choices. And Mr. Parsons is, is telling Mark that he's lying, that the story actually happened opposite <clears throat> to what he told it. Mark's first excuse was, he kept saying, what? He was blind. Right. He kept saying, I ended up blind, but at least Mr. Parsons can see. Mm -hmm. And that's what he said. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because he kept shouting, you got away, but in that next to the last paragraph, you got away, but I'm blind. Do you hear? And he kept saying he was blind. Um, Mm -hmm. said that Mr. Parsons got away, meaning that mm -hmm. Mr. Parsons didn't get hurt. So that would be B. He ended up blind, but at least Mr. Parsons can see, which was incorrect, he found out. Okay, number six. The people on the street have stopped and are staring because A, Marks is screaming, Marks looks so shabby, the men are blind, and people are nosy. People are nosy. I think it could be actually all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Marks was screaming, wasn't he? I'm blind. I'm yes, blind. I'm blind. And he did look shabby. And both men were blind, blind, so people would stare. And people are just nosy. So I think it could be, the answer could be all of them. So I wouldn't count any of them wrong if you, you put any of them. I have C. <laughs> I have C, C the men are blind. Yeah. Yeah, you would normally look at two blind people sitting there with you. You would just normally look at that. I think the answer they wanted was Marks is screaming because it says in I can't use right after he was screaming, maybe so, maybe so, but I'm blind, I'm blind, and you've been standing here letting me spout off to you and laughing at me every minute. I'm blind. And then it says the people in the street turn to stare at him. Mm-hmm. So I think that's probably what they're looking for, but they're all good answers. They're all correct answers. <clears throat> okay, number seven. The word that best describes Mr. Parsons, now this is the insurance guy, is angry, depressed, nosy, successful. Successful. Successful, yes. He was a successful insurance person. Number eight, the word that best describes Marx is cheerful, frail, self-pitying, straightforward. Self-pitying? <laughs> self-pitying, yes. He just kind of felt sorry for himself, didn't mm -hmm. he? Okay, number nine. Uh, besides selling cigarette lighters, Marx is also a big wig, an insurance salesman, a veteran, a workman. Mm. 
Now, I got a little bit confused on this one. You know, I wish we had had uh, answers to these, but there's not. So, if you look in that second line, one, two, three, four, fifth paragraph, um, he says, I tell you, sir, there wasn't nothing worse than that in the war. If I had lost my eyes in the war, okay, I would have been very well taken care of, well took care of, but I was just a workman and I got it. You're darn mm -hmm. right, I got it. While the big wigs were making their dough or making their money, they were insured. Don't worry about that. I don't know if he was a veteran and in the war or if it's just a workman because what do y'all think? Hmm. Is it sounds like he'd been in the war. He says, I tell you, sir, there wasn't nothing worse than that in the war. So it makes you think he was in the war. He says, I tell you, sir, there wasn't nothing worse than that in the war. Like he'd been in the war. Mm -hmm. um, if I had lost my eyes in the war, okay, I would have been well took care of. But I was just a workman and I got it. So, besides selling cigarette lighters, Marx is also a big wig. I'd almost have to say a veteran because he's not a workman anymore. Mm -mm. He was a workman, but then he got blind and he doesn't work anymore. But it sounded like he was in the war, which would make him a veteran of the war. What do y'all think? I think it's uh, a veteran. Part, uh, letter C. Okay. That's what I'm thinking, a veteran. Uh, I think the same thing. That's what we're going to go with. Because he's not a workman anymore. He was a workman mm -hmm. when he got hurt. But he's not working anymore. So, okay. All right. We're going to put C, veteran. Um, and I don't know why they put this number 10 in there because it doesn't have anything to do with the story. A word mm. that means almost the same as parson is insurance salesman, lawyer, preacher, teacher. Preacher. 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 Yes. But I don't know why that question was in there because I... <laughs> It makes no sense, but that's okay. We answered it correct. All right. Let's see where we're at here. Um, and I think we've already talked about him in this part three about the story. Many short stories have surprise endings. What is the surprise ending in A Man Who Had No Eyes? <coughs> What was the surprise ending? Mm. It was, was, for me, is that the two men are blind. I thought the other, the, the Mr. Parson, who sells insurance, he was okay, but when at the end, he said, I am, so I am, so I think he's blind too. Okay. That was, that was my right. They mm -hmm. both were blind, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It ended up in the end, they were both blind. Not just one, but both of them were. But one of them had overcome the, his handicap of blindness and became a successful insurance salesman. But the other one was kind of self-pitying, self pitying self he, he didn't do anything with his life. He didn't try to. He just sold cigarette lighters. <clears throat> Why do you think Mr. Parson has become successful while Marx begs for a living? This There's no right or wrong answer to this. This is just a 
Why do you think Mr. Parsons became successful and Marx didn't? Mm -hmm. He might have had somebody at home to help him, maybe. I don't know. This is just a thought question. There's not a right or wrong answer. So you can think about that. All right. Next week, we will keep, I'm, we're going to flip over and do our idioms real quick. Next week, we'll do section four, five, and six. So if you have time, you can do those sections. Uh, the first one is use the words at the left to fill in the blanks. It's basically like definitions. Uh, number five, <clears throat> um, answer the questions on the line. Uh, you're going to put um, the correct word in that blank that goes in that sentence. And number six is a crack the code. I thought it was hard, but y'all may think it's easy. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. But you find different words, <laughs> different words by cracking the code. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to share screen. That'll be for next week. Over here and share screen. We'll real quick and we'll do these um, <clears throat> idioms. Whoops. Whoops. I probably need to make that a little bigger, huh? Can you read that? Yes. Okay. All right, these are the idioms that we uh, hear around the house. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna let you read the idiom it is in dark print and the definition is in light print. So, Norma, read the first one. First one on the bar, Norma. Uh, the first, the this one right here. This one. Oh. oh, can can you see my? Can you see my? Uh, what do you call that? <laughs> <laughs> that little arrow. Can you see my little arrow? Yes, I'm sorry, but I lose my. Okay. Sound. Why don't you this and you close it before I get to food? Mm -hmm. I can barely hear you, Norma. Can I read the number one? This is. Can y'all hear Norma? Top. Oh, okay, keep house to the to the needed chores around the house. Okay, keep house to do chores around the house. What's the second one, Sonia? Mm, clean up to arrange neatly to put in order. Okay, uh, Maria, next. Uh, to return to the proper place. Okay. Next, Pedro. Fix the meal to prepare the meal. Okay, Norma. Okay, Norma, I can't hear you. The dishes, wash the I've lost your audio. Uh -huh, I think. <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> Okay, let me check something. Okay, Rainy, we lose the audio. Rainy. <laughs> Can y'all hear Norma? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, for some reason I can't. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. 
Do the dishes. There yeah, you are. You hear me? Now I Wash hear the you. dishes. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sonia. Um, take out to remove unwanted items from the home. Okay. Uh, Maria. Odds and ends. Various tasks that need to be done. Okay. Pedro. Garage a special cell uh, held in front of house for the purpose of selling house house holds items. Okay. Norma. <clears throat> clean out to clean by removing unnecessary items. Items. Mm -hmm. Items. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Norma. I mean, no. <laughs> yes. Sonia. <laughs> Fix up. To repair, to fix. Okay, very good. All right, number one, we're going to fill in the blank. We, and it may be a different, like last week, uh, we noticed we had to change the, um, um, well, <sighs> what am I trying to say? No. <laughs> I don't know. I went blank. I'm just blank as blank can be. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> change the tense of the <laughs> word. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay. Uh, number one, if you will read the sentence and we will help you put the correct thing, correct word or word in there. Uh, let's see. Number one, let's let Pedro do number one. When do you clean out your clothes before get, it gets too full? Very good. Number two, Norma. Number two, they say the trainers clean it. Let me check. The trainers clean it. Oh, let me check. Clean it to the dishes. I think so. Wash the dishes. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Let me check. The children cleaned blank their room after playing Take with their up. toys. Clean up. Cleaned up. Yes. Cleaned it? up their room. Clean up. Clean up. Mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number three, Maria. Okay. My roommate moved out of our apartment so now i have to to take out all the items myself right put back i don't no. know I all don't the what move out of our apartment so now i have to Put back. Put back. Clean house. Keep the house. Keep house. Keep the house. Keep house. Keep the house. house. My room moved out of our apartment. Fix the meal. Now I have to uh, fix to free to 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 fix up. Fix. Ah, okay. Fix the meal. Fix the meal. Yeah, oh, fix the meal. Fix all the meals myself. All yes, all that is correct. Myself. Uh -huh. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number four, Sonia. Uh, the wind drop always do the after make. Read the whole thing. The Winthrops always do the blank right after they eat. Sometimes it helps you to read the whole sentence. The Winthrops always do the... Do the dishes. Nah, do the dishes. Yeah, <laughs> the Winthrops always do the dishes right after yeah. they eat. Very good. Yes, you know they have one. 
<laughs> okay, number five, Pedro. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bye. Mark, would you out the trash for me? Would you put the trash out? Okay. Take. Hey, take, take out the take trash. Out, take out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you the the put one is put back to return to the proper place, but to take out is to remove unwanted items from the home. So you're going to take out the trash. Okay, Norman number six. Okay, we have hired a maid to come once a week and keep. Jake. Keep house, I think. <laughs> Keep house. Okay. Yeah. To keep. To keep. House. For, you were right. To keep house keep for house. us. Keep house yeah. for us. To keep house for us. That first okay. one. To keep house. To do the needed chores around the house. Okay. okay. Number seven, Maria. Mr. Com Cummings. Mr. <laughs> Cummings. What is the name, Mr. Cummings? Cummings. Uh -huh. Going to garage, garage yeah. sales, and look for clients for garage sales. sales. Yes, sales. sale, garage sale. Garage that sale. is correct. Uh -huh. Sometimes, sometimes we call them yard sales. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Most commonly around here, they're called yard sales. Some people will say a garage sale. Um, okay, number eight. Uh, Sonia. Uh, the roof of the house looks in bad condition. Isn't time to fix it up? Fix up. Fix up. Time to fix, fix it, up. it up. Yes. Yeah, fix it up. Fix it up. Uh -huh. Fix it up. Yes, mm -hmm. that is correct. Number nine, Pedro. Miss Owens drove all over town doing several odds serve. and ends. Several and what? Odds and odds and ends. 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 Yeah. Uh, odds and ends is various odds. tasks that need to be done. I usually, I usually say it's running my errands. <laughs> but uh they're saying doing odds and ends so um okay number 10 norma yes you forgot to put back to put back put back to yes. put back Put the broom back in the closet. Yes. Closet after you use it. Yes. These are some, um, just some of the, I, and some of them to me don't even really sound like idioms because uh -huh. mm -hmm. clean up doesn't sound like an idiom. I mean, uh -huh. um, uh, fix the meal sometimes would sound like an idiom because fix you're not, it's not broken, so you're not fixing it. Uh, okay. So that kind of doesn't make a little sense. Um, uh, garage sale doesn't sound like an idiom to me. It's just the title of something you're using. So, but these were in the list of idioms. So uh, we, we learned garage a few. Garage sale is because it's a garage, yard sale is because in the yard sale is the same. It's the same. It's the same. Oh, okay. If you have a if you have a garage and you're having it in your garage, you might call it a garage sale. But I don't even have okay. a garage, so I'd have to call it a yard sale. So, okay. <laughs> but it's the same thing. Um, okay. Basically, the same thing. But if you had you have things in your kitchen, does that mean you had a kitchen sale? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 that is good. I want to sell all items in my kitchen. <laughs> I need a new kitchen. <laughs> okay. All right. Our fun thing. Whoops. Well, if I can get this to go down to the bottom. 
our discussion at the end, we've got a couple of things. Um, number one, uh, and this is, has to do with the idioms. The first one has to do with keeping house. Do you believe that husbands and wives should share in keeping house? Why or why not? Do you believe that yes. husband and I wife? Say, I say <laughs> yes. <laughs> I say yes. We could both work. Okay. All right. That's good. That's a good because answer because when they're working. both working. Yes. Yeah. They mm -hmm. should share, shouldn't they? <laughs> yes. Very good. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good answer. Anybody else got an answer? <laughs> I say yes. Yes. Uh, okay. we, have to, we have to help each another and and we right. we we share the house so everybody has to clean up. Yeah. I think so. Yes, yes because it's like uh, you have children and wives and kids. Have, mm -hmm. also the kids have to help <laughs> the kids have to help right right the kids have to help too you're exactly right yes yes okay the second one do you fix the meals yourself what do you generally eat <laughs> who, who cooks the meals at your house <gasps> Myself, oh, my husband and Maria does. Mm -hmm. Maria does. Norma, do you fix the meals at your house? Okay, no, I did. I did the Monday to week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you Friday usually? Days. What do you usually eat? Do you eat sandwiches or do you eat eggs every day? It's easy. <laughs> huh? Eggs every day because it's easy. <laughs> Eggs every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, you're right. It is easy to fix eggs. So yeah, just, just boil it, boil eggs. Just boil eggs, right? Egg, more egg, more egg, easy. Egg, egg, more egg. easy. Yes. <laughs> Sandwich egg. And you can boil them one day and put them all in the refrigerator and just pull them out and eat them, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, number three. <laughs> Have you ever gone to a garage sale? Yes. A yard sale? No. No? no? You've never no. been to one? No. No. Okay. Uh, have you ever had one yourself? Mm -hmm. No. Say no. <laughs> I have to do. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, why do people enjoy going to them? Because they they can find good deals. Okay. Yeah. I Sometimes like to you walk. can. <laughs> it's time to walk. Home. Find something people like say. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I just like to look sometimes just to see what's there. Um, it's kind of like going in the store, except it's probably cheaper prices. So, mm -hmm. all right. Last one. No, next to last one. Does your room or house need to be tidied up? What should you pick up or put away? Mm. What's the mm. most most stuff you have to pick up and put away all the time? Oh, the backpack and then my door. <laughs> I, I pick up my shoes. I have to put uh, put away my shoes. Your shoes? You pick up your shoes and put them away a lot. <laughs> okay. Toys I'm always picking up dishes. Toys and my daughter. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm always picking up dishes and glasses. Mm -hmm. and people leave sitting on the table or on the um, end table. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five. What odds and ends do you generally do on the weekends? Mm -hmm. And I call uh, that running laundry. Laundry, laundry. okay. Mm -hmm. Clean the house, like mop. <laughs> okay, mop, all right. Uh, 
clean the bath the bathroom. Clean the bathroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Clean outside around the house. Move the, the yard. Trash. Mm -hmm. yeah. Move the yard and <laughs> clean up outside. Inside outside. Because in, <laughs> in the weekdays I clean up inside. In the weekends. I do my, I do our job outside. Okay. I do not do outside. My, my, my husband did outside. <laughs> he, that's his out, that's his job is outside. Yes. That's what it is. I, inside of the house, so I have to help him outside of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I did inside, he did outside. Okay, we have to help each other sometimes, don't we? All right. Okay, I have 820, so mm -hmm. probably need to end for tonight. Any questions about anything so far? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Next week on our idioms, we'll be doing, let's see. On the job. On the, the job. On the job will be the title of idioms for next week. So, um, oh, and looks like we have a. I don't have any sentences. I'll have to come up with something. We'll see. We'll see what I do there. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we'll do uh, once again. We'll do part. Um, Starting with part four, we'll do part four. Five and six. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let me see Hi. if I have caught up everybody's. Okay, I know Maria's phone number is still the same. Um, and. Let's see, I'm so, I don't know why it's got on here double check birthday. Nobody's birthday changes. <laughs> that's, that's kind of silly. They said double check all this information. It's got date of birth, phone number. No, <laughs> 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 well, their birthday's not going to change. All right. Perfect. I have everybody's information. Say hi. Okay. Any questions? Hi, how are you? Good. Are you doing your school lessons? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, I will see you all next week at 6 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't be early because sometimes I don't get on here till about, usually I'm on by about 20 after 6. Um, okay. Don't be too early because I won't be on here real early. Uh, but I, I will try to have the, the room open at 6.20. So if you want to get on here a couple minutes early. Okay. 25 is okay. <laughs> Do what? 25 is okay. 25, 6.25 is okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some nights I don't know if anybody's got tonight. I was beginning to worry. Even uh, uh, even Norma was running on. She was right at six thirty. And I thought, oh man, nobody's getting on tonight. I'm gonna be all by myself. So, <laughs> but here come Norma, and then here come everybody else. So, all right. But well, it's good to see you all. You all have a good, good weekend. It's a holiday weekend, so be safe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I will see you all next week at 6.30. Okay, bye. bye. Have a good night.